look and feel better on stream. Yeah, I, I don't beat around the bush when it comes to that. You can either do that or you can use one of these retro clones. Look at the clones. I have the power cord for this, but it's out in storage right now. I've only used it once and it was for the SNES. Until I got a new SNES. So when I had crapped out on me. And then I finally got my hands on a new one. Well, a, a newer one over at a, a retro store nearby. And I need to get some retro bright. As you can see, it has two tones, but everything I do. Right off of these ever drives. And then of course I'd like to have a collection. And most of the time they're like, nah, but then again, yeah, kinda do. <laughs> That's where this is where I'm allowed to flex. This is my my flex only zone. And then everyone always says, hey, so, you, you know, they everyone always asks about, like, say, the uh, stream and how to stream setup. So it's like, you know, it's a simple question with a simple answer. Uh, let's create a new scene. And we're just going to take it and right here. Transform this. It's just like that. So there's this is my setup. It's what, dude? It has since 2018. I didn't have. I had the resources and the finances. I just didn't have a good location. Where I lived at down in Florida, there was one retro game store nearby and a ton of Game Stops. The retro game store actually shut down during the pandemic. They knew that they couldn't overprice their games. They liquidated and put everything on eBay. I had one of the smallest of retro collections. I had Atari 2600, 7800, a couple SNES games, which I still have a couple SNES games, but I now have Super Famicom games, some uh, Famicom as well, but my NES collection is huge compared to what it was. Finding games that I never had growing up as well is the best feeling ever. My goal is to get a copy of Castlevania 3. That's the one I want to get my hands on. Dude, the Wii U, I have two. Um, I bought one off a friend. And then... Thanksgiving, Christmas last year, my ex-wife gave me our son's old Wii that he wasn't playing. There was a, a, a Wii Mini that they had, but she, uh, she doesn't know where it's at. If they find it, they should just give me that as well. So I could actually use that. They have a box with a Sega Master System, a Genesis, and a NES. I should know, I boxed it all up for her with all her games. I 
Maybe I'll get a Genesis clone console for my son. Or maybe the little handheld. Dude, those those little third party like the ad games, those are cool to have. The only problem is controls and audio. And let me uh do this run. I'll show you what I got. You can find one for a decent price. It'll be worth the investment. And then you can even preload games onto it. I wish I would have did it. I wish Ad Games would have got a Nintendo license to make. I think because Hyperkin got their hands on it. Here's mine. So, here's the Atari one. And then here's the Genesis one. Final stage.
What's that telling me? Beat my record. 